Ever felt stuck in that frustrating loop of needing a bank account to set up your life, but needing proof of residence or bills you can't get without an account? Yeah, it's a real pain point, especially for newcomers or those who move around a lot. That's where companies like Manise come in, promising a mobile-friendly alternative to traditional banks. But here's the question, is Manise a real bank or something else entirely? Let's dive into the world of fintech and see if Maniz can truly replace your local branch. For decades, banks have been the gatekeepers of our financial lives. They offer a range of services, from checking accounts to loans and investments. But traditional banks can also be slow, bureaucratic, and have hefty fees. This is where fintech, short for financial technology, steps in. Fintech companies are like tech startups for finance. They use innovative technology to offer financial services faster, cheaper, and often with a more user-friendly experience. Manise falls under this umbrella, but a crucial distinction exists within fintech, licensed banks versus e-money institutions. Manise actually operates as an e-money institution, not a full-fledged bank. So, what's the difference? Here's the breakdown. Traditional banks, Banks can take deposits, offer loans, and create money through credit creation. They're heavily regulated to ensure the safety of your money, typically by government agencies. E-money institutions, e-money institutions like Manise can't create money or offer loans. They provide accounts to hold and transfer electronic money, but these funds aren't directly deposited with a central bank. They're regulated, but the regulations might be less stringent than those for banks. What does this mean for you and your money? Here's where things get interesting. Because Manise is an e-money institution, some key differences exist when compared to a traditional bank account. Security. Traditional banks typically offer deposit insurance, meaning your money is protected up to a certain limit in case the bank fails. E-money institutions like Manise use a process called safeguarding to protect your funds. They hold your money in separate accounts with authorized banks or use insurance policies. While this offers protection, it might not be the same level of security as deposit insurance. Features Traditional banks offer a wider range of services, including loans, mortgages, and investment products. Manise focuses on core features like spending, budgeting, and money transfers, though they are expanding their offerings. Regulation Banks face stricter regulations designed to ensure financial stability. E-money institutions are still regulated, but the rules might be less rigid. So, is Manise right for you? The answer depends on your needs. Here's when Manise might be a good fit. New to a country, Manise's easy sign-up process and international capabilities can be a lifesaver for newcomers who might struggle to open a traditional bank account. Looking for low fees, Manise often boasts lower fees than traditional banks, especially for international transactions. Tech-savvy user, Manise is all about mobile banking, so if you prefer a digital experience, it could be a breeze. However, consider these points before jumping in. Limited features, if you need loans, investment options, or more traditional banking services, Manise might not be enough. Security considerations. While Manise offers safeguarding, it might not be the same level of protection as deposit insurance. Regulation, fintech is a fast-moving space, and regulations could evolve. Manise isn't a direct replacement for a traditional bank, but it can be a valuable tool depending on your financial situation. It offers a convenient, mobile-first way to manage your everyday finances, especially if you're on the move. But for more complex financial needs or those seeking the ultimate security, a traditional bank might still be the way to go. Do your research, weigh the pros and cons, and choose the financial partner that best suits your needs. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.